Here's me walking to Skation and Dragon. I need to stop the footage here though and go back a little bit. 2024 is going to be the year of the dragon. And according to the Chinese zodiac, that's that's what I'm looking at right now. Um yes, I'm not a dragon uh, nor a monkey unfortunately, but according to the Chinese zodiac calendar thingy, I'm a loyal doggo at your service. Yeah. yeah. And if you do want to check your year, uh, if you want to know uh, what type of animal are you according to the Chinese peeps, I shall call them. Uh, here's a some um, some of the uh, the years uh, and uh, and the animals uh, from these years. So now we are in the year of the dragon, as I said. Any good artist uh, or creator or a master, if you will, will tell you. Serious stuff. But that style's only for women. Goddess, who is a woman? Watch me, do the same. You will need right. a good reference, right? So, I decided to look for a reference to the dragon, obviously. Uh, up in the mountains, uh, more specifically at this fortress. And yeah, let's, let's do a little research on what is a dragon uh, and where to find them. First thing that we can take a look at is the Komodo dragon, obviously. It is endangered species due to, well, guess what? To humans, uh huh, yes, and to the climate change. When we look at the Komodo dragon, even it has the word dragon, it does look more or less like a giant lizard than a, than a dragon. Uh, for example, in ancient uh, legends, we tend to see people fighting this uh, dragon creature. Uh, for some though, it is described to have wings. Um, that's mostly very common um, for the legends we find in European um, land, mostly. But not, not just there, obviously. For example, in Africa, more specifically in Egypt, uh, they call it a pep. Uh, it is a giant serpentine creature, a long snake like eating its own tail. And here's, here's my representation of it, I guess. Um, it is a, a Wikipedia picture as, as well. Uh, in Mexico, yes, I'm gonna mention Mexico, of course. Uh, they have a creature with the name of Gila Monster or Gila Monster. And um, uh, I'm obviously butchering the pronunciation. Uh, let me know in the comments down below. And uh, yes, I'm sorry. Uh, looks more or less like a, like an iguana or a lizard, if you will. Uh, still not the perfect dragon, I think. Dragons nowadays, Asian dragons, if you will, they have a long serpentine body, a head like a crocodile or more more like a lion, and feet like a crocodile with big claws. Another lion reference we will see uh, from the Mesopotamian literature, where they have a serpentine monster again, with four parts of a lion, and hind legs, tail, wings of a bird. Anyway, after I confused you with all this information, it's fair to say that my search of a dragon on that place was well. Let's just let's just say it was un unsuccessful. Ah, uh, yep, no dragons here today. I even jumped to a desert place while waiting for my four-hour plane delay to pass, and guess what? No dragons here as well. Uh, yeah, I even made a picture. That's that's a, that's a weird picture, and then that, that's a, also my dad there. Hello. Um. Anyway, after this long research and looking for a reference, um, I got tired, and so let's just stop with the analysis and continue to that cafe, where I tried to film. Okay, and I tried to film and illustrate that dragon of mine. And I'm just gonna say, look at this shot, and remember this shot because this is the only shot. <laughs> <laughs> this is the only shot I managed to shoot the whole thing. Uh, I became very self-conscious and and I I, then I I forgot to change the shots. I forgot to change the camera shots to have a bit more, you know, a bit more dynamic, you know, to see maybe the chairs or, or I even didn't take a picture nor a, a video of my uh, coffee thing that I ordered, uh, which uh, they decided to serve in a glass. And it glass for like a beer glass thing, but but for a smaller glass 
it wasn't applied okay but uh, yeah it didn't yeah it was a weird choice of serving that that coffee and the, 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 anyway i didn't, didn't take a picture of that didn't didn't feel that I, it's just that shot over here <laughs> oh my god anyway just it, you know, this is what i have here okay next time next time i will do better i think i i i, I should be able to, to do better uh anyway i'm gonna use this little sketchbook uh, that's the name of the sketchbook i cut it last year um I got it mainly because it's small and uh, I thought I can I can get a travel sketchbook. <laughs> the idea is to only sketch in it or draw in it when I'm away. And yeah, my goal for this year, somehow, somewhere, is to fill that sketchbook uh, by the end of this year. Um, so it's, a, it's a my little blue travel sketchbook, that's, that's how I'm gonna call it. Uh, it's, a, it's a long name. I, I guess what it did, yes. <laughs> uh, the pages of this sketchbook are a little bit yellowish. Uh, it is small, uh, I have no idea about the dimensions, but you know, I will show them here on the screen. Um, here's the thing why I, I got it in this size. It is smaller than my phone actually, so it's, it's a pocket sketchbook. Um, mainly I got it because I got I kind of got as far as a kid to have a little uh, notebook thing. Uh, uh, in my backpack uh, because of this little film called um, the, the Last Crusade. Mm, there was a character who had uh, the same little sketchbook who was obsessed uh, with fighting the, the Grail. I'm not obsessed <laughs> uh, with fighting anything but uh, I will be probably obsessed uh, to finish this. So that's that's why I got that this this size of a sketchbook. Of course, the same brand, they have bigger sizes. I'm going to use only a pen to sketch my sketch. Uh, a rubber, for that matter as well, so I can uh, erase some of the pencil. Uh, I brought with me a, what is this, a uni ball pen. Uh, also, I brought a full set of uh, fine liners that I didn't use because, <laughs> as I said, I got too self-conscious. I, I don't know, I, I'm stupid. Uh, so I only use a fine liner of 0 0.5 and I brought alcohol mar markers with me uh, because uh, obviously I haven't drawn with alcohol uh, markers ever in my life. So <laughs> this is the first attempt. Uh, well, no, it's not the first attempt, but I tried to draw with them. I tried to come up with a design for the dragon and I did eventually. So the thing that you're going to see uh, created on this sketchbook it's not gonna be the first attempt of me try, uh, try to do this dragon like creature uh, but yeah here's the, the here's me sketching in the coffee shop I um, yeah it's, I know the angle is perfect uh, so yeah I first of, first of all I started out with the with a pencil uh, I have uh, and then once I was done with it, I tried to delete some of it to erase some of the pencil because apparently when you use alcohol marker blah, blah, blah. <laughs> when you use alcohol markers, the the pencil doesn't doesn't get combined with them. I guess uh, it, you can still see it if it's a very uh, um, hardly applied. I guess now I'm not an illustrator. So don't, don't don't come at me. Well, you should know that. I, I didn't know. Okay, and what I have seen is that people try to delete as much as they can from their initial sketch, and then they use fine liners or mini ball pens to um, make the focus lines. Uh, I didn't put, I didn't um, line the whole thing as you can see on this picture over here. I tried to mix the colors and I'm gonna say this now, I, <laughs> I ended up creating a purple dragon. I don't know why, but that's the, the color scheme I, cho I chose and by the end of the day, you can see a purplish, bluish, more or less purplish dragon, which I, I thought it would be interesting, but then again, I don't know how to blend the colors of the alcohol mar markers and I don't have the brush tip. Uh, markers apparently I don't know what I did I, did, I don't know I'm using hoo hoo markers um, I'm kind of neutral about them because you know they're the first one so I can't really say are they better are they worse uh, they're okay uh, just the tip I, 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 why I didn't get the brush tip I don't know um, but maybe in, in the future if I'm right <laughs> if I get really serious with the uh, with the alcohol markers I might invest in the brush tip um, 
want. Uh, they have different tips and everything. Uh, but, but yeah, that's <laughs> after I was uh, done inking, and then I decided to apply the color. It was very stressful, by the way, <laughs> because um, I I was hoping because. I stayed at that coffee uh, place for like, I guess almost two hours, which is not a lot, I guess, but it's also one of those coffee shops, coffee places where people go there with their laptops and, and they do some work. And I, I heard very interesting conversations, even though I was trying not to listen to the conversations. And, um, yeah, yeah, but um, so it was, I was kind of self conscious because of the camera on the table. Okay, the camera was on the table. And uh, yes, I was having um, <laughs> drawing materials on the table, and like a little child. I don't, I don't know. I was very conscious. I'm sorry. I, I would, I would do better. I would do better. I was, I was looking, getting angry at myself after I, I saw <laughs> the footage. That I didn't try to change the camera because I could have. They didn't kick me out or anything. Uh, cause you know when you put the, I guess the camera is not also that big. So, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I, will, I will get. I will get over my fear of uh, of doing this maybe in the next video. Who knows? Uh, let me know if you like this, okay? And I will make more. But anyway, I will reveal to you my amazing dragon for the year 2024. 2024. Did I say that right? Yes. 2024, the year of the dragon. And here's my dragon thing, uh, creature, dragon. I will, I will call him Frederick. Yes, I decided to call him Frederick. Frederick, come, come, come say hi.